What's up guys? So in this tutorial series, what we're going to be making is a game called Asteroids. It's pretty well known and it consists of three main parts. you got the ship that you control, asteroids that you avoid, and bullets that you can shoot at the asteroids in order to get some points. And so for this tutorial, what we're going to need to do first is just import some of the pictures. So down in the description, I'm going to have a link where you can go and you can download all the pictures that you're going to need. So I'm just going to paste those in there. It's going to be a folder called Asteroids Picks. And so it's got the ship. It's got three different sized asteroids. They just, and then we also have the rocket that we're going to be controlling with the arrows. And then we have a star that's going to actually give us kind of like a little upgrade. And then the background that we're going to be using. So let's close all of these. And let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is import Pygame. And if you don't have Pygame, just do pip install Pygame in your terminal or whatever command line you have. And just get that installed. So import. Pi game. And next we're going to initialize the screen width and the height for our game. So, so I'm just going to set it to 800. And then the height will also be 800. Whoops. Alright, now what we're going to do is just import the pictures that we um, have in this folder. So it's going to be a few lines. But let's set the background. It's going to be equal to pi game dot init or not init dot image dot load and then it's called stars bg dot png and then we can copy this and we're gonna paste it a couple times and then so the next one we're gonna do is the alien ship we'll say like alien image and it is alien ship png next we're going to do the space rocket this is actually the one you're going to control the alien image is going to be like one of the enemies so space rocket and then that one's going to be set i guess hmm all right that's alien image we can set this one equal to like player uh rocket i guess i don't know player rocket and then this one's going to be called space rocket that's the name of the file so space rocket.png then we're going to do the star and yep, star and then star.png we're also going to have the three asteroids so asteroid asteroid and we'll say like 50 this is going to be set equal to asteroid Oh no. Oh, I made, a, I made a little mistake. It's okay. Alright, so actually, since all of these are inside of this folder, we have to add something to each of the names. So we need to say asteroid picks slash before all of them. So let's just paste that in there. So copy, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste that. And then let's copy the asteroid 50 and paste it twice. We need one that's 100, and we need one that's 150. So yeah, that should be everything that we need for that. Hopefully that's clear. Just make sure you copied this correctly. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we can like set a title for the window. So we can say pygame.display.setCaption and we're just going to call it asteroids. Um, next up, we are going to create the main while loop. And so to do that, we're going to say run equals true. And then while run, we're going to do clock dot tick. We'll set the frame rate to 60 and then I think we just have to create a clock earlier. So before here, we just want to say clock equals pi game dot time dot clock with some parentheses. And then we need to add the code that's going to check to see if the game has been ended. It's like if the user quit the game, we're going to quit the code from running. So what we can say is for events in pi game dot events dot get if the event dot type 
is equal to pygame.quit, then run is going to be false. And yeah, and then at the very end, just outside the loop, we're going to say pygame.quit. So if the while loop gets ended, pygame is going to quit and everything will stop running. So that is looking good. So this is kind of like the boilerplate stuff that we need. It's just kind of the code we're going to have. Uh, this is where everything else is going to go. Another thing we can just create right off the bat so that we don't have to add it midway is just a game over. And we're going to set it to false by default. So when the, when the game starts, it's the game over is going to be false because the game hasn't ended. And then we're just going to add like an if statement here. We'll say if not game over. We'll say pass. So pass just kind of like means that we're going to add code there later, but we just haven't implemented it yet. And it just kind of prevents the little error line from coming up because we haven't done anything. So that's kind of the filler stuff that we need. Another thing we can add just to have access to it later is going to be a method called redraw game window. And so what this is going to be is it's going to be a, it's going to be what's actually drawing everything onto the screen. And so what we're going to add to that first is we're going to say, well, now that I think about it, we need to create the window. Yes, yeah, so before we do this, we need to go up here. We can just do it like right under here. We'll say win is going to equal pi game dot display dot set underscore mode. And there'll be screen width and screen height. Perfect. So now in redraw game window. What we're going to say is win dot blitz. We're going to set the background picture and then it's going to be at zero, zero. And yeah. And the last like filler code that we need is just right here at the end of the while loop. We're going to say redraw game window. So now when we run this, we're going to get a blank screen. It's going to be all black. And it says asteroids at the top. And then at the end of redraw game window, we're just going to say pi game dot display dot update. So now we'll see the background. Perfect.